Hi everyone, welcome to this new video lecture for AutoCAD. In this lecture, we will discuss about how to draw an ellipse by intersecting arcs method or arcs of circle method. So here the conditions will be given in the questions like uh, the major axis and minor axis of the ellipse uh, are given or the major axis and the distance between the focuses are given. So any one data will be given in the question and we need to draw the ellipse. So the question here, let's see. The question suppose uh, let me consider this question uh, the question is given here a point moves in a plane in such a way that the sum of its distance from the two fixed point 100 mm uh, apart is 130 mm and name the name and draw the locus of the points so this is the question given similarly another question we can see major axis ab and minor axis cd are 170 mm long respectively uh, draw an ellipse by arc of circle method so any one questions will be given in this way uh, but methods are uh, simple and similar so let's start so here already i have opened the uh, autocad so in this i'll create the page uh, by typing the command mb setup and uh, the enable paper space no and uh, enter inverse type metric m and enter a scale factor one enter the paper width 420 and paper height 297 so by that i have created a drawing seat here and in this i am going to draw an ellipse so here the dimensions are given uh, 130 and 100 this is for the uh, like the major axis and the distance from the focuses so let me draw a line here so so let me draw the line 130 and yeah so this is the line of first major axis and uh, from here again it's given the distance from this line like uh, 100 mm from this side uh, from the center point to here 50 so i will draw here 50 and another one time 50 i can draw this side so total will be our 100 mm distance from the uh, two distance between the two focuses so i will give the point style here the point style select it and give the point of here you enter and select this point here so this is another one point here and uh, the center point of this also we can give and just draw one line uh, through this center line and yeah somehow we have completed maximum parts of this like uh, two lines and uh, the focuses of this line and the point center point of this so let me give the text of this so here i can give a text of height 3 angle 0 so let me give you a and this is b and this is uh, o point and this is our focus point f1 and this is our focus point f2 and meanwhile this one we can give c point and d point this is arbitrary point actually there is no distance given here similarly uh, now this line need to be divided into uh, some parts so what will go i'll go for the divide command and select this line select this object and number of parts is suppose let like five so here i have uh, divided this line into five Similarly, I can divide this side also 5, uh, but let do it one side and give the point like uh, from here to again uh, 3 angle 0. So let me click it here. So this is, uh, let give a number wise 1, 2 and 3 and this is our 4. Okay. So these are the divisions are completed. Now the method is how to draw the ellipse. So we need to take the distance from the A point to the uh, first point and uh, we need to draw a circle or we need to draw an arc from the focus point F1 and F2. So I will show you how to draw it only one side and other side we can mirror it directly. So uh, let's select an arc and draw a circle from the first point A point to one point and similarly from other side also we need to draw actually. Uh, circle need to be drawn from the first B point to the 
first point <coughs> and what we need to do this circle need to be uh, drawn from the like focus point so again this circle also shifted to the focus point so what is the joining point of these two circle need to be captured or need to be pointed out so this is the first point and this side is the this is now similarly again we need to go back to the original position again a point so a point previously we have taken uh, a point to the first point so now the circle need to be uh, replaced from a point to uh, second point similarly this one also uh, initially we taken uh, b point to the first point now this one b point to the second point again this need to be moved to the b point to the f2 point and the circle from a point to the f1 point and the joining point of these two need to be uh, marked out okay so similarly uh, again that uh, same process need to be continued so again it go back to the first one and a1 a point to the third point and this is also similarly uh, from f2 to b again from b point we need to up to second point so this is the method and uh, now this a point uh, center point we need to replace it f1 point and similarly this one we need to take it to the b point and the joining point of this two circle again need to be marked out here a similar process will be con continued up to the last and similarly here uh, again we can replace this third point completed next, next to go to the fourth point similarly here also this one need to be taken up to here and uh, this need to be drawn here okay now similarly center point need to be replaced now yeah where is that a point this is the a point actually the point was taken out so now this is the point okay and uh, what about this b point b point also need to be kept here f1 now where the junction point is here now this is the junction point and similarly this similarly one more point uh, we can uh, take it for the center one so what i'll do i'll go to this uh, a point and uh, let it up to the last up to last not required actually and up to four point is enough for us so let uh, draw the last one also and this also up to here okay now again we just uh, change the center point from b to f1 and here it will be changed from a to f1 now the final point of this we can get it here and similarly at the bottom also okay now this circle is not required for us so we can delete this circle okay now what we got here just to do we'll do mirror of it so what i got in this top side and here what i got okay just select it and go for mirror so for mirroring we, we may require one uh, axis line or reference line for that if i click erase the source no so by that i have completed this methodology now finally we need to go for the joining of this uh, all these points what we have drawn and that need to be uh, highlighted with different color so i'll go for this line fit select line fit and starting point from the a point and uh, now i can just join all these points what we this got here okay just we need to join all these points and this is what so one by one point we can join and all these things we can mark it okay you can keep like this so this is our required ellipse uh, by this method intersecting rx method so this is one method like this like uh, major x is given and the distance between the two focuses are given so again few points need to be also actually marked here and we can give the dimension also the linear dimension from uh, this from this a point to the b point okay that is 130 we know and another one the distances between the between the two focuses that is also given 100 okay and similarly uh, other points also need to be marked actually what we got here these are the points 
So we can give it uh, like B1 and this is our P2 and P3 and this is P4. Similarly, uh, this is C point D point already we have given here and other uh, things this side also we can mark it all the sides and different different names. So this is one methodology how to draw any leaves by uh, this intersecting arc method or arcs of circle method. So here actually our major axis and uh, distance between the two focuses are given. Another one methodology is there major axis and minor axis given. So for that remaining process will be same only the initial starting process will be different like 100 is there 170 is there. So I will show you uh, slightly remaining all process will be same. So what will go we will just change this now. Now we'll just change the color of this by layer and yeah now select the line and we just need to draw in a line of suppose 100 given major axis okay and uh, another one is given uh, similarly another one line is given minor axis given 70 suppose okay now this need to be kept on this center point midpoint of this line yeah this is the midpoint of this line now we need to draw a circle here okay by taking this distance this is the distance how much this is the distance is our 50 mm suppose because the radius of this uh, major axis that will be 50 so you can draw one circle here actually we need to draw an arc and so here we can draw a, a circle like this and the two point what we are getting here that is actually we will highlight this point this one and this point okay so this is the two different points two different uh, arc need to be cut from the uh, minor axis side c point or d point any one point we can uh, do it this one and similarly again similar method will be followed like from here to here one line you can draw and uh, here to here one line you can draw and let me give the point here so this is here a point and this is our b point and this is the c and this is the d and this is the o point and this is our focus point f1 and this is our focus point f2 similarly uh, some points we can give like 1 and 2 3 uh, 3 suppose 3 parts division so here will here also it will be there like you know um, 3 and 2 and this is actually 1 dash will be there this is so that this is 2 dash this will be like 2 dash and this will be like 3 dash okay so this also not required we can give it now let's divide this uh, line so by same divide common and I just need to be divided into suppose let four part divide okay previously we have divided into five parts let divide here four parts so one two three and three days two days one days now similar method need, need to be again followed like uh, need to draw a circle from the first point to the uh, one point a point to the uh, one point and another one circle need to be drawn from the b point to the one point again this center point need to be replaced from a to f1 and similarly from b point to f2 point okay so by that we can get one point at the top and at the bottom side also so two side we can give the uh, point so similarly again this need to be replaced and that need to be taken again to the a point and this need to be taken to the b point similarly and here again this distance need to be taken uh, to you know first point to the second point both are taken at a time so you can take one by one uh, from a point to f1 point again from this is b point to f2 point so we'll get again one point here at the top side and the bottom side also you can join it okay and this is again continuously similar process need to be followed a point to the third point and here this is 
B F2 point to the B point and second point to the third point. Now again need to be replaced and this also need to be replaced from A point to F1 point. Now we got another one point here and one more point here. And finally we will get this point. Okay, We can test this also. So for a cross check we can do it also. A point, center point up to here and this is our uh, B point from F2 to B again and B to O point. Now again just replace the center point B point to F2 point and this is A point to F1 point. Now see this is the center meeting point of these two. Okay and now these circles are not required here and we just uh, we just can draw this curve here from this point to the all this we can join it okay and before joining we can just uh, this one we can do one thing we can just mirror it the so last time what we did the same thing mirror command and just uh, select the point from here to here as uh, object no and now we can go for this selection of this okay and I just can join all these points by this spline fit and uh, by that we can yeah and finally we can give the new change color and we can give the thickness also for this so this is the two different methods how to draw an ellipse. Uh, this is not methods, this is the two different uh, dimensions are given and if the uh, dimensions are given like this, how to draw an ellipse by this uh, method. So this is all and here also again we need to give this uh, linear dimension like from here to here and this is here, linear dimension vertically from the minor axis of this is not that one from here to the yeah and other point also p1 p2 p3 point and p3 dash p2 dash p1 dash these are the things we can mark it here so this is all about the ellipse how to draw an ellipse by intersecting arc method or arcs of circle method so if you are having any kind of doubts on this you can give a comment on the comment box thank you all